hands are cold, my feet are cold. All because I've got to get fit to fight this bloke. So when I get in that cage, I'm going to be taking that out on him. I'm going to be tearing his head off. What's happening, fight fans? My name's Will Butler, and it's bloody freezing out here. Woo, welcome to my channel. If you like MMA and fitness videos, you might want to consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more videos. If there's a video you'd like me to make, let me know in the description below, or if you'd rather DM me, you can hit me up on Instagram, and the link for that is in the description below. So go check out my Instagram page as well. So we're talking about cold weather training for fighters, pros and cons, and is it even worth it? Well, let's start off with the cons. So, first con, uh, sometimes it's not always safe to do it. Let's be fair, if it's ridiculously, ridiculously freezing cold, and there's weather warning, uh, weather warning out, and obviously maybe the sun's going down, and the temperature's really dropping, it ain't worth it. it ain't worth training outside if it's going to get that cold. But if you are going to train outside, maybe make sure you're quite close to home, just in case you do get that cold, or quite close to your car, somewhere where you can warm up. If you do get to the point where you're getting so cold where you can't warm up enough by training, then obviously go to your car or whatever home where you can warm up properly. You want to be wearing layers when you're going out training. Make sure you've got your hat on, rocking out the bad boy hat, I've got bad boy onesie on. Make sure you're layered up. I've got a jump on over the top of that. So make sure you're layered up and wrapped up warm. Now, I know this ain't going to do you sort of your street cred any good, but I've got a pair of these gloves. Obviously, if you're touching anything metal or grabbing and gripping on anything, your hands are going to get very, very cold very quickly. And if it's that cold and you're grabbing onto metal, your hands could even stick to them. So make sure you've got some sort of gloves on as well. Another thing when you're out training, you want to make sure you've got a bottle of water. Make sure you keep dehydrated. Just because it's cold weather out doesn't mean that you don't need to keep rehydrated and keep a bottle of water on you. You're still working out, you're still going to be sweating. So make sure you definitely keep rehydrated. Another con to do with training outside when you finish training, you can't really stretch off properly, or I wouldn't advise stretching off. Not until you get home and you can stretch off when you're at home. Because of, of the cold weather, you're definitely more prone to getting injured. So that is another con, you're more prone to getting injured. Third con, as for get like fighters sort of training, you're a bit you're a bit capped on what you could do really you could do a bit of shadow boxing you could even maybe do a little bit of light sparring outside but i wouldn't really advise it too much so you are limited on what you could do but for your strength and conditioning yes there's definitely stuff you can do cracking on with uh strength and conditioning but you are a li little bit limited on what you could do for your actual fighting sort of style training other than, like I said, a bit of shadow boxing. So, like I said, you can. There's a bit limited on what you can do, sports specific wise. But let's move on to what you can do. So, one of the things you can do is running. But again, you've got to be careful because if there's any ice and you stack it and you hurt yourself, then obviously you can't train no more. So it's pretty pointless of coming out training in the first place. Make sure you are very careful. Maybe run on the thicker snow try and keep away from the more icier areas I, I find coming out in the woods is a lot better the floor is a lot more easier to uh, to run and jog on a pro something was good about training outside now I was saying you're a bit limited on what you can do training outside but at least you can start being a bit more imaginative with your training you can mix it up a little bit sometimes especially if you've been doing training for ages a long long time and you're getting old like me and you've done a lot you need to mix it up a little bit so sometimes getting out in the fresh air mixing it up trying out other different stuff different environment 
it can definitely be good mentally to get out in the open get some fresh air in your lungs and try different aspects of training so that is one positive to it another thing as well is sometimes you don't have a choice if uh, gyms are closed or you are like one of these people who want to go out running every morning like you might not have a choice to come out to do it in this sort of weather this environment but obviously like i said just be mindful on what you're doing make sure you're wrapped up warm and all the rest of it like i said at the start of the video but it's a good thing if you are one of these people who go out running every day and just because it's snowing or you have a set schedule maybe not running every day but say you you definitely run tuesdays or thursdays or something, something like that doesn't matter if it's snowing or not you're still going to go out running that's a good thing because you're not making excuses if you're one of these people who are oh it's uh it's raining out or yeah it's too cold outside you start making that excuse and then you start making excuses like oh you're too hungry or you're too tired and uh that's how it builds up so it's good to just crack on with it and not let the weather be an excuse not to train now this is probably one of my favorite pros is mental toughness if you can put up with training outside in this weather it's definitely definitely i feel going to make you mentally strong and i use this for when i'm fighting in the fact of if i know i've got an opponent lined up i try and take my anger out on the opponent i think he's bloody maybe do this i'm out training this stupid horrible freezing cold weather because of him my hands are cold my feet are cold all because I've got to get fit to fight this bloke. So when I get in that cage, I'm going to be taking that out on him. I'm going to be tearing his head off. That's what I'm saying to myself. That's what the mindset I'm trying to get in for training out in this horrible cold weather. So it definitely can definitely can make you mentally more stronger having to go through this sort of weather. Let's talk about, do I, just my personal opinion, but do I actually think this is worth it going through, like, obviously... And uh, the pros and the cons we've gone through a couple do i actually think it's worth it like my conclusion i've come up with is if you can get away with training uh sorry if you could get away with not having to train outside in this sort of weather then i wouldn't personally maybe now and again to mix it up a little bit i would but very rarely other than that I'd be a little wussy and I'd stick inside my nice warm gym. Unless uh, you're training under old Quinton, Mac Quinton Rampage Jackson's old gym. They used to, um, in the winter, open the doors and turn the air conditioning on to make it freezing cold in there. So he had to train to warm himself up. I suppose if that's what gets you motivated to keep warm and keep going and keep training, then you could always use that as a motivation to get outside and train. Like I said, it was just my personal opinion. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you do your training outside or not. As for these extreme training outside, I've seen like, quite a few people training outside in snow in their bare feet and stupid stuff like that. If my coach asked me to do that, mate, I'll tell him to 